This was the day that great granddaddies used to mark the calendar of their lives. June 19th, 1865. Folks gathered all around to hear a General Granger come to tell Texas what the rest of the world already knew. Black Americans were now free. They called it Juneteenth, the day that changed the world. What General Granger did not know, could not know, black Texans had already turned their world upside down. With most of the white men off fighting a civil war, what little cattle raising that was done was handled by women, children, and slaves. Given responsibilities that were denied during normal times, more than 3,000 black cowboys passed out of Texas on the cattle drives to Kansas. Where's where no John Wayne? We had a lot of these colors in there, but they didn't show them. Pops Henderson remembers. They got all about it. They don't even know about it. His thoughts are where the pavement ends and the West begins. It always been a colored man there. Always have been. Because he was the foundation of this country. He cleared it up. He dug and cut trees and things. We, we built this earth. This color, we built it. Hold on! Hold on, Hold on. Hold on. When Pop Henderson was a boy, there were no rodeo schools, no mechanical bucking bulls. He learned his skills on the prairie. Hey, ease on up, little mo. Today, there are only a few working cowboys. Only a handful are black. They gather in towns with faraway names, Egypt and China, Cheek and Colleen. Look out there, Robert, what's going on? At night, they butt their tables together like dominoes, and stories tumble over one another, like riders and their bulls. Each weekend in hot, dusty arenas all over South Texas, black cowboys come together to test their skills. They compete for not much money, a little glory, the chance to touch a different soul. Like most black cowboys, Earl Wheaton rides a different range during the week. He spends his days rounding up mail, but zip codes do not make dreams. So for 16 years, Earl Wheaton has eased himself down on an 1800 pound corkscrew. Hey, it's just like me sitting at home in a, in a rocking chair, you know? Well, you feel like you're sitting down in what I might say cotton, okay, but it's not cotton. I really don't control the bull. You have to put yourself in a position to where, hey, if he wants to go that way, then you just do it a little bit better and try to beat him. Outside! Earl drew a bull that was hoping for a late summer and an early fall. This couldn't handle him, sir. Wasn't nothing to it. I know he was going to pitch a storm. I know that automatically. Because the way he was acting in the box. In eight seconds, Earl Wheaton won $90, just enough to pay for his way back next week. You like to ride, too? He also got something else. You gonna be a bull rider when you get up? His name on a page of history you won't find in many books. It's a lot of fun when you ride. Of course, you'd rather ride him on the plate, huh? Oh. <laughs> for today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Liberty, Texas.